Hi guys, it's Zoli here. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make these electric matches. I'm using my homemade nitrocellulose lacquer, which you can see performs pretty good, to waterproof them. I cut a few pieces of uh, visco fuse. If you don't have visco, I will show you a version later which has uh, which uses normal matches. So I strip the insulation from these copper wires and I'm using this Cantal uh, wire. It is very similar to Nichrome. It's a 0.16 mm thick and I'm just going to twist it around these uh, bare copper uh, wires. I'm using this uh, power resistor just to have a good spacing in between. It can be a piece of wood, whatever. Uh, it will be removed anyways. Uh, unfortunately, Cantal cannot be soldered. Maybe Nichrome can, I'm not sure, but uh, I anyway wouldn't trust the soldering. This uh, folding back method is uh, much more reliable. I have never had an E-match, an electric match or igniter, which have failed due to bad contact. It has never happened. You can see on the right side how it uh, heats up. I just form it with the plier and then uh, I'm using the unsealed end of the visco and just uh, gently pull this uh, cantal wire in it and seal it up with uh, just one little drop of uh, this nitrocellulose lacquer and when that uh, lacquer dries, it dries pretty fast actually then I just uh, make sure that this cantal wire is uh, properly conformed to the visco and then I dip the whole thing into the nitrocellulose lacquer this waterproofs it and keeps the whole thing together, it will not fall out. It could be, after drying, it could be used this way, but uh, sometimes I just like to put a little sleeve around it, like a little paper tube. I usually use uh, gummed tape, but if you have no access to it, I'm going to show, I'm just showing how to, I mean, everyone knows how to make a paper tube, but uh, I just make it and then insert this uh, ready e-match, basically. And then uh, on the bottom end I pinch together the paper and I like to tie it up with a, with a thread or a yarn just to make sure that it holds properly. And just with the use of a little lipo it's very easy to ignite and it gives pretty, a pretty amount of uh, flame and sparks. So this is with the match version, the same thing, you just actually loop around this, uh, this uh, wire of the head of the match and tie it off with the with the thread. I didn't even dip it into the, the nitrocellulose lacquer if someone does not have access to it. That's all, it gives much less flame of course, but it still works. And here I just put up five images on my homemade fireworks system. So you can see how they work, they're very reliable actually. I used them for many many years now. This is a short video for those who bought my earlier project, so they can use it for the purpose that it's, it's intended. As always guys, thanks for watching, uh, share your thoughts and questions in the comment section and uh, check out my other videos as well, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.